Happy New Year and welcome to the first pause for 2022. Did you know that January is named after the Roman god Janus, who had two faces? Apparently one to look back and one to look forward. He symbolised the transition between endings and beginnings. And as we reflect on the old year that has passed and the new one that's begun, it can arouse a lot of conflicting feelings. I think we can all agree that we're glad to see the back of 2021, just as we were glad to see the back of 2020. But despite what has happened before, each new year begins with an optimistic outlook that things will be better this year. Resolutions are made, diet or fitness plans are drawn up, dates are set in our diaries for the year ahead, goals to achieve throughout the year are set, promises are made to end bad habits and the, the list goes on. But before we launch into any new year, it's essential to spend time with Jesus, not a myth mythological God who can simply look back and look forward. In Revelation 22, 13, Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He was there with God at the beginning of time. He's here with us now at the beginning of a new year, and he will be with us until the end of time. I just wanted to share with you two things that I do at this time of transition to help me look back and look forward, and what gives me confidence to step into the coming year. First, looking back, as we spend time with Jesus, let's first reflect on all that we're thankful to God for in the past year. It's so easy to cast a blanket of gloom over the whole year if we or those we love have suffered in any kind of way. But there'll always be things to be thankful for, little nuggets of gold that we can seek out to praise God for. So this is a jar that we made in Messy Church several years ago, and I've made it a habit of adding a little note when good things happen and popping them inside as a reminder of all the good things that God has blessed me with. And we've got so much to be thankful to him for. It's really easy to forget. So I begin each year by reading through them and praising God. Why not start your own blessings jar this year? Or you can simply write each blessing down in a notebook. Then, looking forward, it's become my habit to ask God for a word or a verse that he wants me to carry throughout the year. Often, rather than a Bible verse, words have come to me that make no sense at all at the time. But God has faithfully shown me through the words he's given that he knows what the coming year will bring. And he wants to me to know that he is in control as it unfolds. So what can give us confidence as we step into the coming year? It is knowing that God is in control. We read this in the Bible again and again. Jeremiah tells us in chapter 10 verse 23, Lord, I know that people's lives are not their own. It is not for them to direct their steps. Proverbs 16, 9, it says, in their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. So as we step into a new year, we turn over a fresh page, we can do so with thankful hearts, knowing that God has plans for us, knowing that he will be guiding us if we seek him with all our heart. Even though we face the reality of sin and that our resolutions to change often end in failure, we can know the forgiveness of sin through all that Jesus did in dying and coming back to life. So let's recommit our lives for him, to him, for 2022 with a prayer. Father God, we thank you that you make all things new. Thank you for all that you've allowed into our lives this past year, the good and the hard things, which 
have reminded us how much we need you and rely on your presence filling us every single day. We pray for your spirit to lead us each step of this new year, guiding our decisions, opening doors needing to be opened and closing the ones that need to be shut tight. We ask for your wisdom, for your strength and your power to be constantly present within us, keeping us from the snares and the traps of temptations. We pray for your protection over our families, Lord. Forgive us the times we've worked so hard to be self-sufficient, forgetting our need for you, living independently of your spirit. We pray that your words of truth be planted in us and that your blessings would cover us and that your light would shine in us, through us, over us. Help us to be known as great givers. Help us to be generous and kind and looking to the needs of others and not being consumed by our own. May we make a difference in this world for your glory and purposes, reflecting your peace and hope to a world that desperately needs your presence and healing. To you be glory and honour in this new and forever, this new year. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks everyone. Happy New Year.